welcome to another poetry video so yeah if you're seeing my face for the first time welcome here yeah, my name is Mudupe I make um I make videos on poetry farming agriculture basically lifestyle sometime and if you're a returning subscriber or you're seeing my video another time thank you for coming back again so today we're talking about um, layer farming I am at the farm again and if you've seen any of my previous video you know that yes i manage a poultry farm so this is like my specialty today i'm talking about layer farming raising like everything you need to know about layer farming so layer farming is one of the very popular um aspects of poultry production it is even ranked number two broiler production will be number one so um layer farming is actually very important like so if you intend to start a layer farm or you want to know more about layer farming then this video is one you should keep watching i'm just going to run through very important um very important things about layer farming that i hope will be very beneficial to you so let's get into it what is layer farming layer farming is actually an art art and also a science it is the art and science of of um keeping um birds female birds or ends you're keeping them basically to lay eggs so that is why it is a science because these birds have been modified it's not like a cock has to mate them before they are able to produce egg they can modify that you feed them and they produce egg for you commercially so layer farming is a commercial way of producing birds for consumption so chicken chicken eggs are continually on the increase like a lot of people are demanding for eggs more so it has and that's because of their nutritional composition of course you know eggs are very nutritious at the same time it is one of the cheapest proteins we have available so this has created um, a very huge market for for eggs and this is where layer farming comes into place so it has led it's this um this demand for egg has also led to the rapid um, the rapid growth of the poultry industry so another thing we'll talk about here is the different breeds of um the different breeds of of layer birds so we have so many of them but i think i'll probably just mention three we have the Rhodes island red we have the is it the aqua black yes the aqua black which is quite popular in the northern parts of nigeria then we have the isa brown isa brown is is like um the, the most popular one and that's because of his adaptability to our weather and also because he can lay head for longer period of time it it's eventually lays a um, bigger egg in size then also it is able to adapt to the weather the body the, the bird that's isa brown is able to regulate its body temperature and that way it's able to convert its feet yeah, the feed consumption and uh, conversion for isa brown is very great so isa brown is like the most popular and that is like the commercial farmer's friend another very important thing in layer farming is the housing system so as a farmer someone who is coming into into the business you'd have to ask yourself that okay so what housing system do i want for these birds do you want the deep litter do you want the um the battery cages so what we have here are the cages where whereby the birds are kept in cages like this they are fed um their feed are here this is where their feed are then they drink their water from the leaf pool then their head slides this way so you ask yourself do you want to do you want to use the battery cage or do you want to um use the deep litter so both housing system have the advantages and disadvantages so for the um the deep litter the advantage is that you're able to keep um, more birds in a particular place and they are kept they are they are kept away from wild animal or pests or anything the disadvantage of um deep litter is that um because the birds are just kept probably on the floor you have probably something like sawdust on on the ground where their droppings are kept into it can eventually constitute either a nuisance to the environment or there can be disease outbreak when disease outbreak happen it spreads easily to the birds because they're all in the same place or like in battery cages whereby when there is disease outbreak you are able to either manage each bird in that particular cell where the outbreak happened then another thing for deep litter is that um 
cannibalism is very high among the birds because one bird might actually be very very notorious and goes around the whole the whole pen but in battery cage that notorious bird is just in one of these cells and you're able to remove it when you have any issue so for also um deep litter your eggs your eggs probably you have a lot of cracks because the chicken lays their egg on the floor and they might probably step on it or something even when they have their coop they probably will lay the egg on the floor and breakage and all that but for battery cages like i explained the egg just slide this way so cracks are cracks are really really reduced in a day we probably have less than five or six cracks in a day so these are the advantages of um, battery cage battery cage also has its own disadvantages the disadvantage for battery cages is that it is very expensive then um it is very expensive because each cage now probably costs about a hundred and twenty thousand naira at the moment and that one cage can only house about 100 birds so it is expensive and also you have to find somebody who knows the, the know-how of the, the technical know-how of fixing the cage might be very difficult or like when you could just put all your birds on the floor i mean in deep litter and you start raising them so yeah i mentioned the advantages and disadvantages of deep litter and battery cages another thing would be how to start um layer farming one thing i would advise personally is that as a new farmer you should try and buy your birds at points of lay that means you're buying the birds at 16 weeks this is because i wouldn't advise a new farmer to brood their birds no Ad brooding is where you buy the chicken from day old and you start raising them from a day old to the points of lay which is like 16 weeks 18 weeks but it's a, it it's it um, needs a whole lot of um, experience it is technical if you get it wrong you might affect the whole cycle of that bird so i wouldn't advise that um, a new farmer brood their birds i would advise that as a new farmer try and locate a very good farm go to their record and buy or, or purchase your point of lay from them this saves you a whole lot of stress because imagine you buy 2000 um, day old chicks and you lose 500 of them and the capacity of your pen is 2000 or maybe 1800 so you've lost so much and you spent so much but when you're buying your points of lay you need 1800 the farm is going to supply 1800 it's not your business how many the farm have to brood to give you your number your own number is just that amount and really if you look at the difference on if you brood your birds and if you're buying 16 weeks i think the the difference is not so great but of course i know it is cheaper to build and of course you would know that okay these birds are healthy and all that but what if you don't have that experience what if you don't have those experience and you probably put yourself in trouble so when starting a layer farm my advice is that you buy your points of lay at 16 weeks then you bring them to your farm and you start um the process of raising them so they can start laying eggs for you i think i have a video about um arrival of um arrival of our birds and i think they arrived at 16 weeks yeah I, I did a video about that so you can see that video on what you should do when your birds are arriving in your farm that's very important as a farmer too you have to really take care of them for those early days they arrive at your farm so another thing we'll talk about is the feed for layer birds okay because i don't brood i have never had cost to brood i basically receive our birds here at 16 weeks or 14 weeks there about so i do not brood so when we talk about their feed the feed we use they have um three systems of feeding they have the, the grower they have the I think I should show you uh, the feed system. Let me show you our. Let me show you our feed here. So yeah, the feed shows. Um, that's the feed we use from zero to three weeks. So they use um chick crumble. Then from four, four to eight weeks they use um chick crumble. Okay, this one is chick crumble extra. Then from 9 weeks to 15 weeks, they use the boa mash. So then this one is 16 weeks to 5% production rate. They use um, 
three layer mash so once they've gotten to five um five percent production rates they start using layer mash so these are like the so these are like the categories of feed you use well that is just for this particular brand new hope that we use at our farm for other farms they just use grower then they start using um, the layer mash i think for one set of our breads here we didn't use layer mash until those birds were like they've gotten to like 15 percent um production rate that's because we wanted them to grow so well so we just continued um feeding them with the the pre-layer mash so that's about the feeding of the of the of layer in layer family that's about feeding them basically you use grower mash and you use layer mash and use that layer mash till you take them off the farm this is a reminder that you please subscribe to my channel please turn on the notification bell too so you're notified once a video drops management practices these are things these are practices that you have to ensure at your farm to, to you have to keep in, put in place in your farm to ensure that things go smoothly during the cycle of your of your birds so some of these management um, procedures practices will be that um Sanitation will be number one. Sanitation bath security. You have to take them very seriously. Clean your pen. Ensure that your pens are very clean. Keep visitors out. Administer the drugs you should administer properly. Like this is very important that um, medications are administered according to where is the medicine? Okay, this is not clean. But don't worry. So where is the med? I'm trying to see a medicine. A medication bottle so you have to read through the medication bottle to be sure that you are following the required dosages another thing would be that um, when you're feeding your layers you have to take very important note of your your feed time yeah feed time is very important you have to stay consistent to it do you want to feed at 6 30 a.m do you want to feed at 7 a.m you have to pick one that's for the morning feed then in the afternoon do you want to feed at 1 30 p.m or do you want to feed at 2 p.m you have to stick to a feeding pattern then also when you want to pick their eggs so you have to also pick it at intervals you're picking in the morning you're picking in the evening then um what else and one very important thing about layer farming is that feed takes about um over 70 percent or about 70 percent of all your expenses in layer farming it's more like oh the farmer is working for for feed meals but it's actually um it's actually one very important aspect of of the of the of the business you have to take your feeding very seriously you have to use a feed that you feel or you know that has very good results we've mentioned quite a number of stuff here we've, men we've talked about layer farming generally we've talked about some of the breeds we've talked about um the housing system in layer farming we've also talked about the management procedure for layer farming and what else we also talked about their feed the feed um the type of feed they should eat and also how you should care for them so really i hope that you've been able to learn one or two things about um layer farming today i think yeah i should probably do another video on if um layer farming is profitable oh why yeah so that's it today about layer farming thank you for watching and yeah if there's any video about layer farming that you are interested in any topic in layer farming that you're interested in and you'd like that i make a video on please let me know in the comment section also my viewers please also let me know where you're watching from let me know which country you are also watching from yeah so that's about it that's that's about it for today till i come your way again with another video about poultry farming again why have you not subscribed yeah. Why have you not subscribed to my channel? Why have you not subscribed to my channel? Please, please like, please comment. Let's, let's all just enjoy all this together. Bye.